Hey guys, welcome to Coding Spur and welcome back to a new tutorial. This time we'll be making the classic Pong game. So by the end of this tutorial you should have a game as the one on screen. So we basically have our two paddles, a ball that bounces all over the screen and obviously when a player scores a goal he gets a point. Okay, so we're going to use object-oriented programming for these, so classes and objects. And for those of you who don't know or haven't used classes, don't worry, I'll try my best to explain them. But for now, you just need to know that a class, it's basically a template that will let us create our objects, in this case, our game objects. So for this game, we're going to use four classes. The paddle class is going to be responsible of creating and managing our both paddles. The ball class is going to be responsible of creating and managing our ball. The player score class is going to be responsible of displaying and increasing our scores. And our collision manager class is going to be responsible of checking all collisions that happen on our game. And again guys, if you haven't used classes, don't worry, this is going to be a perfect opportunity for you to start practicing and to start understanding a little bit more about all these object-oriented programming stuff. And you'll see it's pretty useful and actually not that hard. So yep, let's start coding. Okay, so let's start creating our file. I'm gonna name it pong.py. By the way, if you don't have any text editor installed on your computer, or you don't have Python and Pygame, make sure to see my videos on how to do that for both Mac and Windows users. There's a link to the video in the description below. Okay, let's start importing Pygame and the sys model. And if you watch my last tutorial, my tic-tac-toe tutorial, you'll see these first lines of code are pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and initialize our Pygame model. Once we do that, we can go ahead and create our screen. So I'm gonna call it screen, but you can call it however you want. So let's type pygame.display.setMode. And inside this method, we need to pass the width and the height of our screen. So as you know, I like to create some constants for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a constant called width with a value of 900 and a constant called height with a value of 500. So inside this method, we need to pass in a tuple. So go ahead and put parentheses. And inside of those parentheses, go ahead and pass width, comma, height. Okay, so now we can go ahead and paint our screen. So go ahead and type screen.fill. And inside this method, we need to pass in a color. But actually, I want to create colors as constants too. And I'm gonna paint the background black because it is the classic punk, black and white. But you can use any color you want. So I'm gonna create a black color in RGB format and that will be 0, 0, 0. And for those of you who don't know, RGB stands for red, green, blue. Uh, okay, so we can go ahead and pass our black color here. And let's now set the caption of our screen. So go ahead and type pygame.display.setCaption. And I'm gonna name it Pong. Okay, let's now go ahead and create our main loop. And for those of you who are using Pygame for the first time, this might be a little bit confusing. But I just want you to know that this first part of the main loop, it's always, always the same. So let's go ahead and type while true. And inside that, for event in pygame.event.get. And inside of that, if event.type equals equals pygame.quit uh, sys. We're going to type sys.exe. So yeah, we're basically saying that if we click the exit button, just quit the application. So I'm going to go ahead and save and run the file for you to see what we got. Okay, so as you can see, we have our screen, but it's not black. And that's because we haven't updated the screen. 
So we need to go to our main loop and at the bottom we need to type pygame that display dot update and we can save and run the file now so yeah as you can see we have our black screen okay now we want to go ahead and create a function called paint back is not receiving any parameters and this function is going to do two things the first thing is going to do is actually paint our background color so we can go ahead and copy this line of code, delete it, and paste it right here. And the second thing we want this function to do is actually draw the middle line that the pawn game has. So go ahead and type pygame.draw.line and we need to pass in a surface, so that will be our screen. Then we need to pass a color so as I'm doing the classic, classic punk, I want to use only black and white as colors. So I'm going to go with white for this line, but you can use any, any color you want. So go ahead and create your color as a constant. White will be 255, 255, 255. Go ahead and pass the color right here. And then we need to pass in a starting position. So as we want our line to, to be at the middle of the screen, the starting position will be the following. So put parentheses and go ahead and type width divided by two, double division, because we need it to be a, an integer, comma zero. And the ending position is going to be also width comma two, width divided by two, I'm sorry, comma height. And remember that pygame coordinates work a little bit different than usual, and that's because white values increase downwards. So that's that's why we have height as our final y position. Okay. And the last argument we want to pass is actually the width of the line, and we're gonna use five for this. And the last thing we want to do is actually call our function. Go ahead and save and run the file. So yeah, as you can see, we have our middle line. You can you, you can do it a little bit more thicker if you want. I think it's good, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, now we wanna go ahead and create our ball and our two paddles. So as I told you, we are going to use classes for this. So let's go to the top of our script and we're gonna start with our ball. So go ahead and type class ball. And the first method we want to have is actually called the init method or the constructor. So go ahead and type def underscore underscore init underscore underscore. And for those of you who don't know, this method is actually the one that is going to let us create our ball object. So each time we create a ball, this method is going to be called always. Okay, and we want to create some parameters for this method, and the first parameter has to be the self parameter. So I'm going to explain this later, but for now, just know that self refers to the object, to an object. So now let's think about it. What do we need in order to create a ball? So the first thing is going to be a screen, because we, we need to know where to draw it. We also want a color, a position X, and a position Y and also a radius. So now inside this init method we can go ahead and, and, and type self dot screen equals screen self dot color equals color self dot posx equals posx self dot pos y equals pos y and self dot radius equals radius so if this is a little bit confusing for you we are just saying that our ball radius is going to be equal to a radius that we are sending as a parameter or that our ball position y is going to be equal to a position y that we are sending as a parameter or that our ball color is going to be equal to a color that we are sending as a parameter and so on so on okay so we now have what we need in order to create a ball 
So let's go ahead and create a method that is actually going to show it on the screen or draw it on the screen. So this show method is going to receive one parameter that is our self parameter. And remember, it refers to the object, so to our bool. And we want to type the following pygame.draw.circle. And we need to pass a surface, so it will be our self.screen. So remember, it is the screen of our bool. Now we want to pass a color, so it will be self.color. We need to pass a position, so a position is a tuple. And we need to pass a, set, a, a x coordinate and a y coordinate. So self dot x, comma self dot y. And now we can pass a radius, and the radius is going to be the self dot radius. So remember the radius of our ball, the position y of our ball, and so on, so on. Okay, what we want to do now is actually call this show method inside this init method. So go ahead and type self.show and we want to do this because as soon as we create a ball inside this init method, we want to show it, right? So let's actually go ahead and create a ball. So I'm going to go here, down here, I'm going to put a comment telling these are our objects. And in order to create an object, you'll need to type the name of the object, so in this case ball equals the class, so ball, and parentheses. And we need to pass in the parameters we created. So the first parameter is going to be our screen. And we need to, we, we want to pass our screen. For the color, I'm going to pass white. For position x, as we want the ball to be at the center of the screen, position x is going to be width divided by 2. And position y is going to be height divided by 2. And the radius, mm, I think we're going to use something like 10 or 7 maybe. And now we can go ahead and save and run the file. So as you can see the ball is too small so we need to increase our radius. So go ahead and put 15 more or less. So yeah, it's much better. I think I'm gonna go with 15. You can you can play with that and decide your radius. Okay, so once we have our ball, we can go ahead and create our paddle class. So go ahead and type class paddle. Again, we wanna create our init method. And this time we wanna receive our self, a screen, the color, a position X, a position Y, the width of our paddle and the height of our paddle and go ahead and type self.screen equals screen self.color equals color self.posx equals posx self.posy equals posy self.width equals width and self dot height equals height. And again, we're just saying that the height of our paddle is going to be equal to the height that we are going to send. The width of our paddle is going to be equal to the width we are going to send, and so on, so on. Okay, let's now go ahead and create our show method, just like we did here. So go ahead and type dev show. We want to receive our self as parameter, and inside of the method, we want to type the following. So pygame.draw.rect and rect stands for rectangle as we want our paddles to be rectangles. And actually before we continue with this I want to quickly explain you how rectangles work in pygame. Okay guys, so I just want to quickly show you how pygame is going to draw our rectangles. So as you know we need to pass a position x and a position y. And pygame is going to start from here, from this coordinate which is located at the upper left corner of our rectangle and he's going to add the respective width and the respective height of our rectangle in order to create it, right? So yeah, I know it's pretty simple 
and pretty pretty easy but I just wanted to know that the x comma y coordinate it's located at the upper left corner and not at the middle or at any other position okay so hope that's clear let's go ahead and pass our surface so self.screen now we need to pass in a color so self.color and now we need to pass in a rect or a rectangle so in order to create a rectangle we need to pass the x and y coordinate and the width and the height so let's go ahead and type self.plusx comma self.plusy comma self.width comma self.height and we have our show method ready so just as we did here we want to call our show method inside our init method so go ahead and type self.show and now we want to create our paddles so let's go down here I'm gonna call the first paddle paddle1 by the way this is going to be the left paddle so let's go ahead and type paddle the name of our class and let's go ahead and pass the screen then we need to pass in a color so that will be white then we need to pass a position x so I'm gonna go with 15 and a position y so that will be height double division 2 minus 60 and you'll see y minus 60 in a moment now we need to pass a width I'm gonna go with 20 and a height so this will be 120 so this minus 60 is telling our pedal class that we want to draw our pedal right at the center of the y-axis so let me give you an example let's go ahead and delete this I'm gonna save and run the file for you to see it so as you can see our pedal starts at the middle of our screen but we don't want that we want that the center of our pedal is located at the center of our screen and that's why we need to subtract our pedals height divided by 2 so let me do that quickly so minus 60 and that's because this is 120 so if you're using here I don't know 200 make sure to put here 100 minus 100 so I'm gonna go ahead and save and run the file again and as you can see our paddle is now located at the center of the y-axis so let's go ahead and create our second paddle so I'm gonna call it paddle 2 so paddle 2 and go ahead and type paddle we want to pass also our screen white uh, x position is going to be different and that will be the width of our screen minus the width of our paddle so that will be 20 minus the minus 15 so this 15 which is like a an offset between the wall and the and the paddle so okay the position y is going to be the same height divided by 2 minus 60 the width is going to be 20 and the height is going to be 120 so let's go ahead and save and run the file to see it so yeah as you can see we managed to create our two pedals our bowl and we have our screen ready okay guys so this is going to be the end of this video hope you like it hope you enjoy it in the next video we are going to add some movement to both pedals and to our bowl so if you like it please leave a like please comment and please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video